I'll make it all come true. What is going on you guys? It's the Team Deathmatch Heater here back again with another brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. And inside of today's video, we're going to be looking back at old alpha footage from 2018. Now, I've personally seen the footage of gameplay back in 2018, but I never paid attention to what the actual user interface looked like when you were inside of the main lobby. And I clicked on this video and straight away, I was like, oh my God, I need to make a video reacting to this because it's insane and that's exactly what we're going to be doing inside of this video i'm going to be going back looking at 2018 call of duty comparing it to 2020 call of duty mobile and then you guys can give me your opinions on what you thought was weird better or even just cool from the old-fashioned call of duty mobile from the alpha build but before we get into this, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we are less than 55,000 subscribers away from 1 million, which is my childhood dream goal. Now that's over, let's watch and react to Call of Duty Mobile from 2018. Let's do this. Okay, so here's the loading screen. What? The music's so bad. What? Yo, this... Look at that, bro. Look how ugly that is, dude. That looks trash. You literally had to pay credits to obtain attachments. Excuse me, what the f Ladies and gentlemen, you had to pay credits to obtain any attachment that you wanted inside of the game. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. This is interesting. Quick draw SMG, quick draw LMG. So you had to pay for the attachment for the whole gun class, the whole category of gun. That's interesting. Also, look at this. Variable zoom. I think this is for snipers. Yep, for SR, for sniper rifles. We still don't have that in the game. What? Oh, I told... Everyone always makes fun of me for saying scavenger when I'm picking up vulture packs. Look right there, dude. Scavenger. That's what it was meant to be called. See, it gives you bullets. That's what it's been called in past Call of Duties. That's why I always say scavenger, even though it's called vulture. I don't know what arm master is. That might be extra grenades and hardened, which is toughness. Wait, 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 wait. There's vulture and scavenger. I think scavenger gives you more bullets when you spawn and then vulture obviously lets you pick up the bullets. Sixth sense. Ghost is in here. Wait, Ghost was... Dude, Ghost... Wait, what? Ghost and Lightweight used to be in the same tier. What the heck? First bonus? What the heck is that? Dexterity. Dude, there is so many perks in this that are not in the game currently. That is insane. There's so many perks that have not been released. I think Overload is to get your operator quicker, but I have no idea if that's correct or not. You know what I mean? I have no idea because I've never seen Overload. That just is what it looks like. Dead Silence used to be a red perk? What the frick? Oh, here's supply for both of the lethal and tactical equipments. Okay. This is what the home screen used to look like, dude. That's crazy. What? The inventory looks so bad. Look at that. It looks like 2D or something. Yeah, no way. If they, if, like, that would be a cool way to open up an inventory if it looked better. It's a cool idea. I like it. I like, I like the concept, but the execution of it, it looked kind of bad. Okay. This is a regular soldier. Oh, there's the mercenary soldier. In the beta, this was quite a rare skin. Okay, he's just showing us all the skins. Let's skip past this part. Throwback to when zombies was actually in the game and Battle Royale was not. <laughs> RIP zombies, gone but not forgotten. Oh, wow. Oh, it changes the music as well. Listen to this. Hold on a sec. Hold on a second here. How much was that VTOL? Okay, it was 1600. Just checking. Just checking. But look at the UI. That looks so... I actually like that. I like this better than the one we have currently. I think this looks a lot better. Let's look at it again. Yeah, I like this a lot more than what we currently have. I think it looks way better than the one we currently have. In my opinion, you guys probably could disagree with that. There's the old, I remember, it, this was similar to the beta. Look at that, dude. That was at the start of the beta as well. Look how ugly that is, dude. Holy Jesus. What is that? Oh my gosh, yo, one like equals one extra class slot or loadout slot enabled. Like we still have five loadouts. We should have like 15 by now. So many different guns. 
Wow. I haven't actually, like, looked back at this stuff in so long. Oh my gosh. Look at that. What? Hold up, you guys need to hear the music that comes on as soon as you click this, because it's it's interesting. The music changed depending on where you were in the main menu. That is so cool. Dude, that is so cool, bro. What the heck? And you only had four game modes, free for all. What? Free for all is not even a permanent mode nine. It was permanent back then. What the heck? What? It wasn't, e bro, I'm done. I'm actually done. Ah, well, there you go, zombies. RIP, gone but not forgotten. Wow, wait, what? There was nine? Now, hold on just a second here. Look at this. We, there was farm, diner, bus depot, diner boss, par station, and cornfield? Fine, cornfield, and another cornfield. Welcome to the cornfields, mother. So you're telling me we had nine zombies maps. We had nine. How many did we get? We only got Shinonuma. That was the only one we got, right? That's the only one I remember. Shinonuma wasn't even there. There was 10. That's confusing. I don't even understand. Oh, this is all the settings that you could get back in the day. Oh, dear. Oh, okay, buddy. That, wow, they even had like a really good um, controller system back then. Okay. Oh, wow. You could pick which um, things you wanted. Oh, here's the gameplay portion. This looks so weird. Look how like bouncy the uh, RUS is. All right, I've shifted to a separate screen so that you guys can see my reaction front on for the gameplay. Let's watch this. Yeah, dude, it looks so much bouncier. You get white text instead of the yellowish text that we have now. The kill streaks, the score streaks down in the bottom look really weird. <laughs> they look really not HD. But bro, I can't get over the rust the way it, bro, it looks so bouncy or something. Like there's a lot more horizontal recoil. I don't know, man. It looks weird. Like the graphics look really weird and bright and not like stabilized. I don't know, dude. It just does not. It does not look very cool. I know that some people will disagree with me on this one, but I, I don't really vibe with it. Here's what came up when you ended the game. I remember this. Not this one, but just before that. That is insane. That looks better than what it looks like now. 100%. Like, look how good Crash looks right there. It looks better than what it does now, <laughs> which is crazy. But yeah, this was the old loading screen. So bland and boring. Wow, the old kill leaderboards. That's crazy. Oh, here was what happened when you were getting into a game. And here's a little bit of crossfire for you. This looks ugly. Oh, my gosh. Step back. I think I'm going to vomit. Dude, there was two different buttons for frag and tactical grenades. What the heck? Bro, I remember watching some gameplay of this and thinking it was so great. And now when I'm looking back at it, I'm like, wow, we have come so far. Even then, though, before this game was released, I thought that this was amazing looking. Like, it looked so great. But damn, have we improved how good Call of Duty Mobile is in the past seven months. Did Crossfire actually looks so bad. No offense. <laughs> All right. So here is some of the oldest Nooktown gameplay I could find. Oh my gosh. That looked disgusting. He had Captain Price skin though. Your gun like waves around. It's so weird. Oh my gosh. Nooktown looks so much better than what it did here. No, like it looks so much nicer. What? I swear everyone in these beta gameplays used the RUS. Well, it was called the AKS back then, but looks insane. It looks so uh, dark or something, bro. It doesn't look as brightly colored and as vibrant as it does now. Wow, okay. The score streak active thing is really weird. This guy also had... Oh, a triple kill with a hunter killer. That's what he also had. I mean, they never get any kills anymore, so they must have got nerfed after the alpha. Damn, bro. I, ne I haven't got a hunter killer kill in I don't know how long. Saying that, I never really use it either, so. Let's see what the Predator missile looked like. Ah, uh, it was kind of similar. Yeah. Look at Captain Price, bro. He's so ugly. <laughs> oh, bro, this looks so cool. I can't say I was an alpha player called Mobile. I started in the beta. I didn't even know how to get into the alpha, to be honest. 
What? This actually looks really good. For this being an alpha, it looks amazing. Hijacked is definitely the best looking map. Wow. Yeah, this map looked amazing, even in alpha. Just a really nice looking map. Especially with the sun going over it all, making it have a different kind of feel when compared to the other maps in the game. Oh, wow. He didn't get that kill. He must be lagging. Yeah, he's got 116 MS. Top, right? <laughs> All right. That's going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Help me reach 1 million subscribers. Live your life with purpose. Like the video if you enjoyed. And without further ado, I love you all. And let's roll the outro. Bye.